Hello and welcome to episode 20 of the Confessions of a Yarn Addict uh, podcast. This week um, it's mainly going to be a vlog, some of the things I've been up to in the last week, which includes a lot of knitting in the garden. I've just been moving around from one shady spot to another really because we've had a heat wave. There's also a little bit of a clip from a trip to the beach and our crazy little dog Alfie. Uh, but first, before we look at that, I want to share a new purchase with you. So a parcel from um, a yarn store in Bath arrived uh, yesterday and um, I love using stitch markers. I use stitch markers a lot and my favourite stitch markers um, are uh, from Coco Knits. It doesn't say Coco Knits on there. There we go. Coco Knits. Um, and I don't know if you can see it. I don't want to tip them all out. It's these rainbow coloured tiny stitch markers. They're perfect for up to four millimetre needles. Um, hang on, let me see what it says here. Just put the lid on, I don't want them to fall out. So it's, they're perfect for up to 4.5 millimetre needles, four and a half millimetre needles, um, which is US 7. And I rarely use needles bigger than that really. So they're perfect for the needles that I use. And they're not too big. And there are 60 stitch markers in here. Um, I do lose them quite frequently because sometimes I just flick them across the floor or they fall off. They fall down the side of my knitting chair or I lose them when I'm out and about and I can't find them again. So I decided to stock up and get another tin. Um, and then they also had another fun little thing which I haven't seen before which is uh, also from Coco Knits. So that's what it looks like. Rainbow colours. Um, but it's actually a needle gauge. So I haven't actually used it before and I'm not wearing my reading glasses. So it's got US sizes and American sizes. Um, so US sizes and millimetre sizes and you basically just open up one of those and put your needle through so that's too small so let's see if I can find the one so this is I think this is 2.5 so let me see if I can find the one for 2.5 so you pull one of these out so oh, that's too small so this must be a bigger needle pull the next one out and the needle just goes through like that. Goes up to, so it goes from, uh, let me see, two millimeter, which is zero US, to the biggest one is 15 US, which is 10 millimeter. You can see that. So you've got to pull it out and then you can put your needle through. So quite good fun. Um, if you've got needles that you use a lot, you'll probably remember which colour it is. So there's two discs in each colour. Um, I saw this online on their Instagram page and thought I quite like that. I like gadgets. I like that this is small. It's something that I can easily pop in my project bag uh, when I'm travelling and that kind of thing. So yeah, I really like that. So these are both from um, a yarn store in Bath. They have an online shop as well. Um, and... I think so, there are some other online shops that stock these as well, but um, I got these from a yarn store in Bath. So, yeah, really pleased with that. Um, and now I'll show you some of the other things I've been up to this week.
because I'm sitting in the garden under the uh, tree in the shade because it's so hot today and I've got my lunch and I've got these three beautiful skeins which I'm going to wind in a minute this is drum album uh, nipper numbers four ply they're going to become a poncho <clears throat> I'm going to wind them uh, while I have lunch um, I you used to wind them using my electric ball winder um but it's broken so um my manual ball winder doesn't fit on my desk which means putting on the dining room table which is where simon's working from so i've decided i'll just put the skeins around my knees and uh wind it in the garden sitting in the shade under the tree because it's really really hot today office is sweltering um i've got more work to do but it's just too hot there so I'm going to spend the rest of the day in the garden knitting, I think. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I also want to let you know that I have 40% off all my patterns, both in my Ravelry pattern shop and in my Payhip pattern shop until the end of August. So to get the 40% off, you need to use coupon code AUGUST40 in capital letters. So I'll put all the details and all the links below this video, but it's uh, AUGUST in capital letters, AUGUST40. August 4-0, capital letters. Okay, so that's valid in both my Ravelry pattern shop and in my Payhip pattern shop. I'm gradually adding more patterns to my Payhip pattern shop because I know some of some people can't use Ravelry at the moment. So if that's you and you um there are patterns you want but they're not in my Payhip shop yet, just let me know, send me an email and um I will get you sorted. I'm adding patterns to my Payhip pattern shop as quickly as I can but I do have an awful lot of patterns to go through. So I've added a few more today and I'll continue to add a few more. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, what I've been getting up to this week and I will see you next time.